So I hit 100 subscribers back in 2018 and I feel like as a YouTuber I've learned quite a bit about what you should and shouldn't do. This video is going to be some loose handed advice on what you should do and what you shouldn't do to hit 100 subs here on YouTube. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about hardware and software and like the type of equipment you should use because to be honest there are thousands of videos exactly like that that talk just about that sort of thing. I mean I'll mention it for sure but it's not going to be the core focal point of this video. This video is going to talk more about what your mindset should be, how you should view YouTube, what you should think of your YouTube channel, stuff like that. So just to give a bit of context, I started my YouTube channel back in 2013. And from the years of 2013 to 2014, I pretty much just made very basic gaming videos, let's plays, the type of stuff you would have seen back then. What I used to do with this little capture card was I would record like, let's say an hour's worth of gameplay, like let's say Borderlands 2 for instance, go into the Elgato game capture editing suite because it, the, the software it came with actually had one of those, cut the gameplay up into a bunch of their own little videos, and then render them all out, and then upload them like over a few days period. Well, what happened sometimes is I would just forget to hit com like hit the commentary record button, so a lot of these videos wouldn't even have a commentary track, but since I already had that stuff recorded, I just wouldn't even care. I would just upload it anyway. So then after like 2014, I started making more higher quality gaming videos, and when I say higher quality, I mean I would put more editing into them, but they weren't exactly good. But even with that, I still hit 50 50 subs doing that, which wasn't bad at all, especially considering I wasn't doing sub for sub, I wasn't spamming my YouTube channel and other people's comments, which is what a lot of people used to do back in the day. For the type of video I was making, which was just gaming let's play, it was just very basic stuff that everyone was making back then, I didn't do too bad for myself. But like I said, unless you were doing sub for sub or spamming your channel and other people's comments or constantly collabing with people, you weren't really going to get very far in gaming videos. So I changed things up and started making commentaries, and some of them were scripted, some of them aren't. A lot of people will have different views on whether or not you should script all your commentaries. I don't really think it's that important to be honest with you. As long as the videos themselves are still good and you're still making coherent points, I'd say just kind of do whatever you want. But the point being is some of these videos did really well, some of them not so well. But the main thing is that commentaries opened my channel up to a new audience and I actually started to begin growing. And then after like two and a half years of making commentaries, I hit 100 subs. So I'm going to tell you guys some of the more general tips and advice I have for actually hitting 100 subs that I learned in that time frame between 2015 and 2016. To 2018. I guess my first tip here is don't try too hard when it comes to YouTube. I feel like this is something a lot of people do where they'll buy $200 capture cards, you know, hundreds of dollars in editing software, they'll spend hundreds of dollars on mics and then thousands of dollars on a PC just to be able to make YouTube videos. And to be honest, you don't really need to do any of that. Back in the day, video production equipment was pretty expensive. Like if you were trying to make gaming videos like what I was doing, yeah, you needed to spend hundreds of dollars on capture card equipment, have a decent PC to run the uh, software, all that kind of stuff. But nowadays, you don't really need to do that. I mean, a blue snowball is like, what, 50 bucks? I mean, every smartphone nowadays is a pretty decent camera, so you can just get like a $20 tripod off Amazon. Something I remember about watching a lot of these how to start a good YouTube channel videos back in the day was just how often they emphasize good equipment and good software, when in reality, a lot of people don't need that. Your focus on YouTube should be to build your personality and to build your character, something that people will actually watch you for. If you want tips on some very basic software and equipment you can use, I got some here. A blue snowball, like I said before, is like 50 bucks. A pop filter, let's say it's like 10 bucks. That'll help your mic quality out a bit. Provided you have at least a somewhat decent computer, Audacity is free and it's pretty easy to run. If you want a good screen recorder, OBS is free, but if your computer can't run OBS, like mine's not very good at running it, you can get action which is $20 to use as a license, but it's a very good software and it's easy to run, very not resource intensive at all. Or you can just use your graphics card video recorder, like I have Radeon Relive on my computer through my Radeon graphics card, so you can do that if you have no other option. As far as editing goes, DaVinci Resolve 16 is free and it's a pretty good editing software. There is a premium version of it, but I don't really think it's worth the $300. But the nice thing about it is if you do buy it, it's just one-time payment of $300. It's not like Adobe Premiere where you have to pay 
pay on a subscription model, which I think is stupid. And if your computer can't run DaVinci Resolve, uh, older versions of Vegas and even like Movie Studio Platinum 12, which is what I started out with back in the day, works pretty well. And you can actually buy like disc versions of these softwares. So you can buy them off like eBay or something for pretty cheap. Pixlr.net is good for making good thumbnails. Uh, if you're trying to do it for free, it's not the best, but it'll work if you're trying to make basic stuff. And there are plenty of YouTube tutorials on how to make good thumbnails with Pixlr. So yeah, provided you have at least a non-AIDS computer, that's pretty much under $100 and you have a good YouTube setup already started out. So in terms of what videos you should make, which is probably what most of you are wondering, I would say just make whatever you think you're good at. Don't try to chase trends. Don't try to do whatever everyone else is doing. To be honest with you, if you're actually good at making a certain type of content, just make that content. For example, if you're good at making daily vlogs, don't try to switch to gaming funny moments videos because you see some people get views on those. It might take you a while to figure it out, but once you have it figured out and you know what type of content that you like making that you want to make, it's pretty easy from there. So here's the part of the video where I'm going to talk about how you should really view your YouTube channel. YouTube's kind of shit right now. Um, but m most of you knew that, of course. It's even worse if you're a smaller channel trying to grow your fan base from literally nothing. Because of that, how you view the content you make and how you view your YouTube channel can really make or break your chances of anyone really finding you and building an audience. I guess a good title for this segment would be Humble Yourself, because that's really the big theme here. Just remember, you're a small channel. No matter how quality your videos are or how much time you put into your videos, there's a good chance that no one will ever watch them. And honestly, that's just something you need to remember. A lot of it is just pure luck. Like some people will wonder, oh man, how do I, how do I get to a thousand subs? How do I get a thousand views on all my videos just starting out? And all of it's just luck, really. And as long as that fact is true, which it always will be, just make the content you want and have fun with it. If you're just starting out, you literally have nothing to lose. It's not like you can lose subs or lose viewers because you don't really have any yet, so what's the point in even worrying about it? You're not making money off your videos, so you don't need to worry about that either, and you probably won't because ad rates are so low right now. So the moral of this video is just have fun with it. Don't take yourself too seriously, but at the same time, don't treat yourself like a joke either. Make the content you want and have fun with it, but don't expect your channel to blow up after your first two videos. Just keep at it, keep making content, and eventually one of your videos will get noticed, like a couple of my videos did. And with enough persistence and just making good content, you'll get to 100 subs. So uh, yeah guys, that'll be it for the video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, just like if you didn't. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.